Hey everyone, welcome to Piccadilly Stamping. Today we are going to make a cute little project using the stamp set Hey Love. I love this set. I've been using it a lot. Um, I've done actually something with every little character, but today we're just going to use this little otter. And he, I think he's so cute and he says, you otter be my valentine. I love it. Okay, let me show you what we're going to be making. So the cardstock that we're going to be using in the color combination that I chose was po was Poppy Parade. So I went kind of looking for something similar. Look at this. This holds a Nutter Butters. Yum. So it's four little cookies in there. Isn't that cute? I just love it. You ought to be my Valentine. So let's get started on how to make it. It's very simple. We're going to start off with a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. It's cut at five and a half and five and a half. Okay, let me pull out my Simply Score tool here. And so the first thing I want to do is score that at one inch. down flatter. It's easier to work with. So I'm going to score it at one inch. Like that. Then two and a half. Three and a half. And five. Okay, the scoring helps us fold it um, a little easier, so let's go ahead and fold that up. So this is what our Nutter Butter, and let me pull this out, I'll just pull this one out of here. So this is kind of the sleeve that the Nutter Butter is going to go into. Okay, actually I might as well just go ahead and, and put this in and tape it down. What do you think? So you're going to put on this little half inch piece some um, tear and tape or this I happen to have some fast fuse here just for the convenience of um, video, I'm going to use that because it goes a little bit faster. And then, oops, let's get this on the right side here. And it fits perfectly around the Nutter Butter package. So, and I thought it matched very nicely. So we're going to set this aside, and then we're going to talk about um, making the otter. So I went ahead, for the otter, I went ahead and pre-cut out on a scrap piece of paper from the layering ovals we have, and these things match up perfectly, a piece of Whisper White in an oval, and then I also did, when the same um, die cuts that you can get, um, I did one of the scalloped ovals so that when they are put together it gives just that little um, edging on it. So here's why I chose, I'll go ahead and stamp and start and talk at the same time. So I want to use, I'm going to be using um, alcohol markers today so I want to use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink because that works the best with alcohol markers and let's see if I can put this right in the middle here I hope I do I got a camera right there in my head so don't want to bump the camera there we go not bad not bad so the reason why I use the Tuxedo Black Memento ink is because it won't run with the um, alcohol-based markers. Um, and 
I wanted you to know that this is the Whisper White thick cardstock, and the reason why I used the thick cardstock was because it just helps when you're using the alcohol-based markers um, from um, bleeding through your lines. So I chose some interesting colors. Of course, we've got the Poppy Parade, so we're going to start there, and let's just color in his. He's thinking a little heart here, and he's in. It's in the little think bubbles. So. We're going to put that on because that brings our color. I also chose Pool Party for two reasons. One, it goes really pretty with Poppy Parade, but it also, for the water, Pool Party, you know. So I'm going to go around like so and just color over these water lines. I think it gives a little movement there. And then for my otter... Um, I have two colors here. I have the dark crumb cake and I have um, the light crumb cake. So for the middle here, and I'm not going to be blending these, I'm just coloring him in. His little tummy, his little face, and then uh, the bottoms of his feet. Now you're going to want to have a protective layer down underneath of alcohol markers because they do bleed through and I'll show you when I'm done coloring this. And so I always, I like to have something to protect my surface anyway. Um, but if you don't have a mat, you can just use a piece of scrap paper. I literally save like my computer paper um, to put underneath projects like this when I'm not sitting here at my craft area. Isn't he cute? Okay. Also, when you're coloring, don't leave an alcohol marker right at that black line. Kind of go quick and because that way it won't soak up into it. But it's, it, I mean, I'm not having any feathering or anything here just from keeping it light like I'm going to show you. See, no bleeding out, other than I colored outside the lines on that. So let's take the scallop circle that I had been talking about and let's glue this down. Let's see if there's any glue left in here. And here's the back side, like I was saying, it, it does bleed through. So you want to, ooh, and that was too full. So I'm going to kind of smear it out. Came out in a glob. There we go. I do like the green glue because it does give you kind of a moment to center your project. Isn't he cute? He's just so cute. Okay. So with that same scrap of Whisper White, since I have it readily available, I chose the You Otter Be My Valentine, and I think that is so cute. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that, and I'm just going to use the black, the Memento Black again. I'm not going to be doing any color on it, but it just matches, and it's quite handy here. You Otter Be My Valentine. Okay, we have the, the Duet Banner punch and this has a couple of banners that you can punch out. I don't know which shows the best, but I'm just going to use, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to use this rounded one at the bottom. And since my paper is just a little bit too long, I'm going to trim some off here and try it again. There we go. You Otter Be My Valentine. I think that is so cute with him. Okay. So that was the duet ban banner. It does have a, a stamp set that goes with it also. Okay, so let's bring our treat back in. 
I'm going to go ahead. Now you could pop this up if you wanted to, but I find sometimes when you pop things up that um, they're easier to rip off when you're giving them, especially to like kids or to your husband. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to place him on there like that. So that's why I'm not using that. And then I'm going to do the same thing. And I just put the glue kind of right, I don't know if I'm in camera here, but right in that middle section. I mean, it's just a cute little cover for a treat. You otter be my valentine. Isn't that adorable? So, I appreciate you watching my video today. Please like it and follow me if you want to see more of them. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, Celebrations is going on right now. So um, for every $50 that you spend, you can um, earn uh, free products. Some of them are even stamp sets. Um, you can find me. I have an online store on my Facebook page Piccadilly Stampin' and then there's a blue um, button that says shop now that'll take you right to my online store 24-7. You can also go to Piccadilly Stampin' at blogspot.com and find more links and information there. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.